Good morning, Matachos. Today, I'm going to get my hair cut done, and I'm going to get the trending butterfly cut. If you haven't seen it yet, it's on YouTube Shorts, and maybe on TikTok, and um, on Google. This boy just woke up from his nappy nap. <laughs> my mom is well, we had to wake him up. Well, we didn't really have a choice. We had to wake him up. And yeah, that sticker is so sticky cute. Say <laughs> hi. He's like, where are we going? So, we're going to get my hair cut. I'm going to get the butterfly cut. So, basically, it's like layers, but almost like a butterfly, basically. <laughs> It looks like butterfly wings almost. Okay, and then I get to get a trim for my bangs because um I can barely see. I have to do like this, and yeah. So we're gonna get on the road, and then we're gonna pass the camera to my mommy in a second. Bye, my chachos. Okay, so Alondra got the vlog started, which was perfect. Good job. And yeah, it's crazy to think like we're getting our hair cut. It's been a year since I've last gotten her hair cut, trimmed. I mean, I always did her bangs, but like an actual trim. It's been a year. Homegirl needs it. And this is gonna be her first time getting like a different type of hairstyle. Uh, yeah, for sure. So I'm excited. It's about 35 minutes away. Completely different city. I don't think I've ever been in the city. So I need to focus on the GPS. But I'm excited to finally get the hair. Did you tell them how it got canceled yesterday? Oh, uh, no. So, so yeah, she had the appointment for yesterday. And then literally two, two hours, hours before the appointment, the lady cancels. Literally and I was like, two. seriously? And also, she had me put up a deposit down. And if I didn't cancel within 24 hours, like, I would lose my deposit. So I just thought that was interesting. Like, you have a strict cancellation policy, but yet you're going to cancel on me two hours before. Like, practice what you preach. <laughs> But anyways, um, I'm just glad to get it done. We haven't got a cancellation text, so let's hope that's not gonna happen. Um, but yeah, I have so many like back to school things I need to get done. So this is just like one of the big back to school things that I needed to get done, so. And I've been yeah. wanting this hairstyle for a while. You have been wanting it for a while, so today is the day. But all right, I'm gonna go ahead get on the road and we'll check in with you guys there all right we made it are you excited yeah all right let's get a before okay, turn around so let's see the hair how long it is. yes it is and just above the tush and then here it is on the side yes beautiful and you can see we can't even see the eyes so let's go and get it done girlfriend let's go who's excited me me <laughs> me 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 in the back yeah Alondra at first was like it's short it's short because Alondra very much wants her like the length of her hair she did take a few inches off maybe two maybe three Not um three, four. yeah but she didn't take a lot because I told her like she really wants the length but also we need to take off like the the dead you know and um, she did a lot of layers and then she really framed her face. So in the front to Alondra, it looked shorter, but I think it's just because of all of the layers. Do but you when see you see the framing? back, yeah, the framing, how does the framing? Look at that. So beautiful. You can't really see the layers right now because we're in the car, but you'll see it when we get out. Yeah, it looks so good. So how do you love it? I love it. You love it, love it? Yes. I'm so happy. And Emilio did really, really good. I was nervous, but he did good. And she had her two kids there, so it was like, 
yeah I was like okay cool she's got her kids here so it's all good but now we're gonna go to where honey Chick-fil-a yes Alondra wants Chick-fil-a so we are gonna go and get us some Chick-fil-a and it's one o'clock so it's perfect because I am starving the appointment took an hour um, and it said it was only gonna be 30 minutes but I was like there's no way it's gonna take her 30 minutes to cut her hair wash and style it and yeah, we definitely did it. It took an hour and she charges $5 extra, but I was figuring that because I feel like whenever I go for a haircut, there's always like how much they say the haircut's gonna be and I always get charged extra because my hair is longer. But anyways, uh, I have okay. no idea. Yeah, it's fine. It's it was worth it. But I have no idea where I am because I don't know this like area. So let me pull up Chick-fil-A. It's supposedly right around the corner so we can go and get some lunchies. All right, Chick-fil-A, of course, got the number one. And Alondra, she gets the number one now too. She doesn't even get a Happy Meal anymore, does she? Or a kid's meal, my big girl. And then, what are you having? Are you throwing your food on the floor again? Yes? Ay, yeah, yeah. I kind of forgot that we were vlogging today, but we are leaving, oh, hello. I kind of forgot that we were vlogging. Here, baby, can you put this on your seat behind you? Yeah. Or next to you? Um, but we are leaving the chiropractor. We had we go once a week um so we all got adjusted feeling good and alondra her um it's 102 her cheer practice got canceled today so because her cheer practice got canceled we are gonna go and hopefully get alondra's shoes for school we have everything we need for back to school i'm pretty sure and i'm telling you the haircut was the big yes you'll get to pick out your shoes the haircut was the big thing. I was nervous about that, like where to go and stuff, but obviously that all worked out. School supplies we got in Virginia with my mom. School clothes, I did some shopping online with Target and then we also did some clothes shopping with my mom in Virginia. So school clothes is done. I literally only need one thing for school and that's hand sanitizer. Um, and then the next thing is just sneakers. I'm trying to like visualize my list. I think that was it, huh? I think it's just shoes i know that's like the big thing so anyways we're gonna go ahead to dsw and hopefully they have the shoes that she wants i went online I and it said that they did that? so fingers crossed they do and fingers crossed there's not a ton of traffic so 27 minutes here we go to dsw we made it hopefully we have some shoes all right let's see if we can find your shoes girlfriend we found the shoes that Alondra wants. These are the ones she was looking for. She really is into like this chunky, like converse and she really wanted these high tops. And I just think these are so stinking cute. So gotta get her to try them on. All right, girl, give me that model walk. Work it, work it, work it, work it. Oh yes, yes, show them off. So stinking cute. And of course we forgot socks, but thankfully they still have like little like tight things. Are you doing plies? <laughs> <laughs> All right, ballerina. <laughs> How do they feel? Good. Good? Yeah. She says they feel a little bit big, but... It but just because of the socks. I know. I think it's because we forgot socks, but they have the, um... You guys, like, know, like, those tights in the box? But we're gonna, just to be safe... Oh, there's a 13 right here. We'll try a 13, I guess, to be safe. But your other conference you had last year yeah, wore yeah. a 1. That's why I'm kind of thinking... 1. Stick to the 1. Yeah, I might... Yeah, I Okay, that's what I think. Okay. We are home. It is 8.30. Alondra is jumping in the shower. We stopped at Pluckers to get dinner. Oh, he almost Daddy. craving Daddy. wings. Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> her little shower cap. She just tried on her cowboy boots. Got these at Target. So stinking cute. Got them for Emilio's first birthday theme. So a little hint there. You guys will probably know the theme way before this video though. Um, but anyways, so I had her try them on because I picked them up at Target yesterday, but she'd never like tried both of them on. So I just, you know, wanted to make sure we are good, but I am annoyed. The new shoes that we just got, I checked them thoroughly, not thoroughly enough because one of the race, one of the laces, nothing. I even checked oh. inside the shoe. Okay. One of the laces is completely ripped. Like it's gonna break so i'm like you're freaking kidding me bro so edom like has to drive by there uh like going to work and coming home so he's gonna stop by to exchange them and he was just checking right now to see if there's like possibly extra laces in the box because you know that would just be too good to be true 
but alas. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I swear that always happens to me. Babe, who does that happen to? Like me and Elias, right? Because, so our nephew, um, he's like very p picky and particular about his things. Like when he buys something, he always inspects everything. I am too. Like I inspect everything. I even like to grab something like from behind because I'm just like that picky. Um, I don't know, like the idea of like everybody grabbing everything from the front freaks me out. I just, I've always been like that. Like it's, it's not like a post COVID thing or anything. I've just always been like that. So anyways, oh, here's a better shot of the boots. They're so stinking cute. I love them. Really good quality cat and Jack. So, okay. Target. So these are definitely like boots that she can wear like throughout the year. You know, she wants to like wear boots. Um, and she's actually going to a rodeo for girl scouts in a couple of weeks. So she was like all excited that she can wear these. She's like, I already have something to wear these two besides my brother's birthday party. So perfect. Um, but any what was I saying? I don't know. My battery died on me all. Um, but anyways, <sighs> yeah, basically you guys let me know. Do you guys inspect things? No, this is a size one. I wonder why she said she could. Alondra loves these shoes and she tried to wear them when we went to go see the Barbie movie. She couldn't get her feet in them. She thought they were a 13, but these are a size one. Maybe she just, I don't know. I still have to help her get shoes on, which makes me a little nervous that she got high tops, but that's what she wants. But anyways, hey you, these are all, I have literally all her back to school supplies here. Um, I still didn't get hand sanitizer, but I will. I think I'm just going to go to Costco and get it because I just, I know it's what I did last year and I just think it's going to be a lot easier. So I do plan on doing a haul and I'm pretty sure by the time you guys see this, a separate haul will go up. I actually need to film. I do need to film that like with Alondra. I feel like sooner rather than later because usually on meet the teacher night is when they want us to bring all of the school supplies and meet the teacher is on Monday in six days. It's wild. So her and I definitely need to film this. I don't think we're going to be filming a clothing haul because you guys, you guys. Oh, Emilio's pissed. I set him down, but this is like all of her shirts that she got. Like, all new, this is still all new, new. This is new, new, new. I think it stops, like all the new stops here. Yeah, so, ugh. This is all of her new clothes, right here. And she actually wore a pink cardigan. She wore it to the Barbie, um, the Barbie movie, and she wore another like new shirt that she just like, wanted to wear but yeah this whole chunk here is like all new tops i think i counted i think there's 17 and then like not including like cardigans and jackets and yeah so homegirl is definitely set on clothes she got like new like jean pants and all of that kind of stuff too like all the bottoms she got new bottoms so yeah she's ready we just need to go through and pick out what she's gonna wear for the first day of school because you know the first day of school well Maybe not for everybody, but we always like to, you know, pick like the favorite outfit or a dressier outfit, just something. So we'll see what she chooses for her first day. Like I definitely, her style has changed. It's a lot of um, smiley faces. She's obsessed with smiley faces. I'm not kidding. Like just about everything we got has smiley faces. Like, oh, hi smiley face right there and then all on the back is smiley faces like hello other smiley face shirt like literally i think every shirt that we bought has smiley faces or it's a band t-shirt this is a cute smiley face shirt that we got though with like the cherries so yeah she's just <sighs> smiley face obsessed everything basically has smiley faces sorry if the angle's all cuckoo loca in my face but um and tihuzi yeah she's definitely set on clothes and she's good with shoes i do have um oh hi baby i didn't even see you <laughs> um, 
Oh, <laughs> there's a light for you. Um, so she does still have a lot of sneakers and like boots and shoes oh, that yeah. fit her because they're all a size one. Those pink boots maybe are still a size one. They didn't fit. So she does have a lot. I just need to clean them. And I know if I ask you guys, how do I clean Converse or how do you guys wash sneakers? I, school's gonna already start by then and I'm sure I will have figured it out. So I just need to go through and see how to clean, especially because my mom just got her some white Nikes with like hot pink, they're white and hot pink. She just got them they're for so her cute. like, they are very cute. Like the last month of school is when Alondra got them. So they are still good. They just need to be like spot cleaned and like cleaned up. I actually today too, I spot cleaned her um, her Jansport backpack. This was her backpack from last year. I love and it just, ha I know, I love it too. It's perfect. Um, and it only had a couple of like dirty spots on it. It wasn't that awful. And I cleaned this whole thing head to toe. So it looks really, really good. And Jansports are pricier. So I had told her last year, like, all right, if you want this backpack, I'm going to, like, you're going to use it for a couple of years. We're not going to switch out a new backpack but I love that thing. It's every so year cute. I know so I yeah shirt. yeah thankfully she still likes it it matches her style because like her style has totally changed but I'm really glad like and happy so Jan sport backpack I definitely recommend because um, it was so easy to spot clean um, so yeah I got that done because I really wanted to make sure I could spot clean it and like you know it would come out good and just in case I had to buy a new one like didn't want to, but just in case. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. I feel like, tell me guys, how are you guys doing with back to school? We start, like I said, school next week. I know you guys are gonna see this way after school starts, but how were you doing? Were you on top of your shit or were you not? We're on top of ours, it's just the shoes. That's like literally the only thing is finding the shoes. But yes, my love? We're gonna watch the Super Mario Bros. movie. Oh yes, we're gonna go and cuddle on the couch right now, watch Super Mario Brothers. I'm sure daddy's gonna fall asleep. But Alondra and I Bye are going to. Yes, so we're gonna go and watch it. So, anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna zip it. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us today and doing some back to school things. But um, that's all we got, huh? Yeah, yeah. So I hope you, you enjoyed enjoy today's, today's vlog. Please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye muchachos. Comment if you like my. My hairstyle. Oh, I'm sure they love it. <laughs>